there! This video is specifically for people who have Saturn in the first house of their natal chart. It also does somewhat apply to transits and when you're going through this transit, this is what you will experience for a shorter period of time, but people who have it in their natal chart, it's going to be their whole life because this is where it was when they were born. So this is the most literal placement of Saturn. If you have Saturn in your first house, then you wear Saturn on your face. You look serious, even if you're like the most silly, kind person in the world. There's this hardness to your face, and maybe if you're laughing a lot or something, if, you're, if you just stop all of a sudden, and your face just gets kind of still, you end up looking serious. You end up looking a little bit too tense a lot of times, like your brow is kind of furrowed and you have this air of discipline and uh, professionalism. You, you stand firm with your head up high and you seem very difficult to break down. You're very controlled. You don't just like, you know, <laughs> if you tried to just like not control your movements so much, you, you'd still look controlled somehow. You would feel silly. You could just, you can't just make like um, loose facial expressions. You're always controlling what you're doing with your face. People with this placement can seem very put together. They're very hard to break down. I think they naturally attract a little bit more criticism. So control is a big thing for people with this placement. And the thing about control is you either have it or you don't. So when a person with Saturn in the first house really breaks down, they just they just seem different. Like when their control is gone, it's like they feel like they have nothing. Like they've just lost completely and they can end up acting out quite a bit during those times. That is their problem. That is the lesson that Saturn is trying to teach them. And I think one of the easiest ways to have control is to not be controlling. Don't try so much to have control. You always feel like there's something holding you back. There's something getting in the way of you accomplishing things and doing things. But the only thing that is really truly holding you back is yourself because people look at you and they see this person who could easily succeed, could easily be the boss, could easily be promoted very quickly. You just have that impression on people. You might feel like there are excuses and reasons why things are never working out for you, but you're holding yourself back. And I think a lot of times the big problem is that you have a lot of actions that you repeat. You repeat patterns of doing things. You make the same mistakes repeatedly. You cannot say that you have no control over what happens in your life. You absolutely have control over your life. No one has control over your life except for you. When you don't want to take responsibility for what happens, you might find yourself blaming someone else because Saturn is discipline. Saturn is authority figures and if you feel like you're not the authority figure, you feel like someone else has the authority over you, you're like, okay, this person's controlling me, this person's weighing me down, but that's not an excuse for anything because we're all authority figures and especially someone who has Saturn in the first house, you're an authority figure. And what I mean by that is you are the authority for yourself. So sometimes you might feel like you can't help it. You can't help what's going on around you. You can't help if your entire life is falling apart, but you can. That's just a feeling. That's just Saturn weighing you down. It's just this heavy feeling of pressure and responsibilities, duty, guilt, all weighing you down. And it's, it's not weighing you down because you have to realize that you're strong. You're standing tall. Your head is high. You can lift yourself up. You can push that boulder off of your head. You can 
break yourself free. And maybe you can make a silly face now and then. Maybe you can just like just do something weird. Just like let yourself free. And don't try too hard to do things because even when you're trying to have fun or something, you will try to control the situation. You have a habit of doing that. You're like, okay, we're gonna drink, we're gonna go at this time, we're gonna go to this place, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna drink, you're gonna drink, you're gonna drink. We're all gonna drink, this is the plan, we have to stick to it, we're gonna have fun. Are you ready, guys? Okay, why did you show up late? I thought we were supposed to have fun tonight. Why is so-and-so not drinking? Like, we can't have a party if this person isn't drinking. So, this is stuff that I see people with Saturn in the first house doing. And you need to learn to re relax a little bit and just let things happen. Like, don't try to control things so much. The only thing that you need to control is yourself. And controlling yourself isn't hard. Like. That's the one thing that we all are just born having control over. I mean, okay, don't get too technical because I know babies don't fully control their limbs and all that and we have to learn to do that. But I mean, a big struggle is that you don't just want to let things happen. But then when things happen that you didn't want to happen, you don't take responsibility for it. So loosen up a little bit, let things happen take responsibility but let things happen the pairing of this placement is action and restriction you always feel that you can't act because you're restricted you um are restricted because you can't act you act and then you're restricted and you have to work with it you have to work within the limits you can't try to do this like weird kind of push and pull flip floppy sort of thing you have to go within the guidelines, the responsibility, you have to work hard, you have to follow your own rules. Don't try to feel like other people are making the rules for you and other people are telling you what to do. Just follow your own morals. Decide what you think is right, what do you value, and keep going with that. And I think if you do that, you will realize that you are the authority figure. One of the things that restricts you is your own self-esteem. You wonder, why would I deserve this? Why should I do anything to help myself? And that is part of how you end up rejecting this responsibility. And you need to find yourself deserving. You need to not blame yourself for things so much. I mean, guilt is a natural and necessary feeling, but when it's weighing you down and stopping you from doing things to make things better, that is where guilt becomes a huge problem. Saturn in the first house will force you to take a very serious look at yourself and analyze yourself, see what you're doing wrong. And if you sit there and criticize yourself, rather than just trying to own up to what you did or even what you didn't do, then that's when Saturn's going to get angry with you. You need to find the responsibility to be empowering rather than letting it be something that brings you down. People who have this placement tend to be really worried about getting in trouble. They don't want to do anything that's illegal. And that's one of the things that's really weighing them down. I'm not saying you should go out and uh, break the law. You shouldn't start like jaywalking or anything like that. But you do tend to be a little bit too worried that you're just going to get in trouble for something, even if it's something small, even if it's something that would be the right thing to do, but you think it's going to get you into trouble, so you decide not to do it. That's one of your problems, one of the things you have to overcome in your life with this Saturn placement. That's one of the things Saturn's trying to teach you, to develop your own morals, your own values, your own standards, and to take responsibility for that. I mean, you're probably not gonna be some kind of crazy, radical rebel with this placement. So it's very unlikely for you to get far out of line and uh, just unnecessarily breaking the law. 
So that's why I'm saying people with displacement need to lift that pressure off of them a little bit and be a little bit more free and uninhibited um, and not always be looking to someone else as the authority figure telling you what you can and can't do. With that said, there is a balance you need to find between control, like having control and not having any control because like I said, control is one of those things you feel like you you either have it or you don't. And when you've had control for so long, when you eventually lose it, crazy things happen. So that's why you need to cut loose a little bit. Like, just allow yourself to cut loose. Rather than waiting until that moment when you lose control and go apeshit. I hope you liked the video. This is the very first Saturn in the Houses video that I'm doing, so I have 11 more to do. Don't know exactly what order I'm going to go in, but I hope you're already subscribed to my channel so you can see um, when yours comes out. And I encourage you to go ahead and watch the ones um, for the transits that you're going through at the time as well, and maybe reflect on transits you've gone through before and how they affected you. If you're interested in getting a reading from me, you can go ahead and check out my website. Um, yeah. Other than that, have a great day. I really appreciate everything. Once I get to 1,000 subscribers, which I am almost there, I'm going to do a contest for a free video chart reading. So I'm excited to see who will win that and um, to make that video for whoever wins, so stay tuned.